US Vice President Mike Pence has announced that NASA is on track to put astronauts back on the moon by 2024. It won't only be a return to the moon, NASA also plans to land the first woman on the moon by 2024. Girl power my friends. And the plan is to use the moon as a jump point to get to Mars. Welcome back to Inform Overload where we do the news and make it entertaining. I'm Charlotte Delray, hit that thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell so you never miss one of our videos and follow the IO fam on Instagram and Twitter. A half a century after landing the first human beings on the moon, NASA's Artemis program is sending astronauts back to the moon and the plan is to stay there as they put it in their viral video. The plan is to put some peeps on the moon and then build some places for those peeps to stay. Not only stay, thrive. And those peeps are going to live there during a multi-month expedition to the South Pole. But NASA isn't only trying to go back to the moon, let's face it, we've already done that. Old news my friends, give me something else. There's not much up there, other than some rocks and some water bears apparently, and as much as I love a water bear, it's not a good enough reason to go back to the moon. The purpose of going back there is to set up a permanent outpost that astronauts will use as a part waypoint to get to Mars. Mike Pence said in his opening remarks to the National Space Council this week, the Artemis mission has already begun. We are well on our way to making NASA's Moon to Mars mission a reality. Pence said that using what we learn on the moon will bring us closer to the day, as the president said, that American astronauts will plant the stars and stripes on the surface of Mars. All of this is not going to be an easy task. There is a long list of to do's. Like the Apollo mission, the Artemis mission requires a giant rocket which is currently in development, moon landers as well, and a deep space crew capsule called Orion which has been in development for about 10 years. The spacesuits are also being redesigned and according to a 2017 report, they are still many years away from having new suits ready for deep space exploration. NASA also needs to build a sustainable outpost near the lunar surface, that's called Gateway, which will be a space station that will go into orbit around the moon. So get people to the space station, then travel to the moon using landers, and then get to Mars. People. A lot of this is dependent on whether or not NASA can find the funding. NASA is currently trying to find commercial collaborators, particularly to make the hardware for the lander. NASA has yet to make the decision on the company. There are also signs that NASA employees are overworked and unhappy. There have been three high ranking NASA officials that have either left or been reassigned in the last year alone. Usually this is a pretty big red flag that indicates that NASA's employees are unhappy with how the agency is being run. It will definitely be impressive if the mission goes ahead as planned. Planned. But you can't really rush greatness, can ya? I mean, this took 29 years, what can I say? Yeah, okay, NASA's under a time crunch because the government really wants to get to the moon by 2024, but all of this hardware has to be tested to make sure that it's safe. And with the planned mission only five short years away, let's hope this hardware is safe because people's lives depend on it. Why don't you tell me your thoughts on this one down there in the comments? Would you go to the moon? Would you go to Mars? Let me know. For now, I'm going to wrap up this one with some common features from my video. The Amazon rainforest fires are officially the worst disaster in history. Ray Lang said, we need to care for our future generations. Yeah, I agree. Olivia Hughes said, why haven't I heard any news coverage about this? The news is finally covering it. It took a little while though. When I was writing that initial story, I think I only found two sources, which is insane because the fires were burning for like two to three weeks already. I don't know. Moonlight said, I'm visiting my grandparents and have to wear a mask when I go outside. Wow. I'm about to return to the US if I live. Well, I hope you do. Hope you live. Stay safe out there, kids. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching, check out this playlist and leave a like if you learned something today. Subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you in a future IO video.